have kept the introduction, the most important person till the end. Uh, Avinash, out whom I am going to request to speak for a few minutes. Uh, his background is, uh, like all of us, he is, he is an engineering student. He was an IIT Bombay BTEC. Avinash Aute used to be the captain of the IIT Bombay chess team. I was, when I was a student, I used to struggle to get into that team. When I became a teacher and he was still a student, I had the privilege of being the coach and manager of the chess team. Uh, under his captainship, IIT Bombay had won the All India Inter University title in 1974 when I was the manager. That's the only game in which any IIT has ever won an All India Inter University title. So we still keep that flag flowing. So that is Avinash Aute for you. He finished his BTEC, he did his MTEC. I, I also had the privilege of being his MTEC guy. And uh, he was solving a chess endgame problem. We had an IBM mainframe then, an IBM equivalent. It was a Russian implementation of IBM called Edimea Sistema, EC1030. And uh, it had a few programming languages available, compilers for PL1, Fortran, COBOL, and of course the assembly language. And we were discussing how should we implement the, the end game analysis project. And he suggested uh, uh, that he should program in assembly language. I said, what nonsense? Because the famous theory was that the number of lines of code that you can write per day, productive ability, is independent of the programming language. So naturally, if you choose a language in which you have to write less code, you will be more productive. So I suggested PL. His argument for using assembly language was very funny. The EC1030 at that time had a few 64-bit floating point registers. And since there are 64 squares on the chessboard, he said he could use bitmaps for pawns and rooks and knights using those 64-bit registers. Remember, the extraordinary speed of that machine was a few kilo of, uh, instructions per second kind of thing. So instruction execution matter. And he says, I could actually do an and or operation with those bitmaps. I said, that's a very silly reason. You will never be able to complete the full program. So he took a bet with me. We decided on a functionality which neither he had worked nor I had worked on the chess endgame. And we said, OK, we'll write programs in our own. I wrote in PL1. He wrote in assembly language. My program did not work the first time his program did. My program worked later on after some struggle. But he could complete writing a much longer assembly language program before I could complete a much shorter PL1 program. That is his programming competence. He later on joined Tata Consultancy Services, led a team of some thousand people, took uh, VRS to do some social service. Uh, I, I, I must mention this. I was quite uh, pleased to see Khushbu from Durgapur. You are interested in helping underprivileged children. Well, that's a very noble thing. Avinash Aute tried to do that. Like our friend Anil Kumar from Bihar, he is convinced that helping people to get into IIT is a good contribution. So there are a whole lot of underprivileged children who can't pay tuition fee for classes and so on. So he started training such underprivileged children and came up with a phenomenal uh, uh, revenue model, which I still guarantee would not have worked, this is for those uh, two or three people who want to start up something. Mohit from Vijay you want to start up something, right? And there is another person who said he wants to become an entrepreneur, Adi Hussain from Sikkim. So please be careful to draw your commercial plans or business plans in a slightly better way than what I will describe to you now. His commercial plan for helping such children was, he would charge them a fees of 50,000 rupees net, except that they have to pay the fees six years after they undergo this training and only if they get admitted to IIT. So I said, but what if they will run away and they won't pay? No, no, no. He says, such children will never run away. They will pay. And how will you sustain for six years? Because first input to your family will start coming up. He says, no, I have earned enough money at, uh, at TCS and uh, I can sustain for six years. Fortunately, I don't think his wife was very enthusiastic about it. Uh, but he, 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 did, he did do that for a couple of years. Then I requested him that if you want to do social work, why don't you do social work by joining the Eclave project as our advice. So for several years now, he has been advising us. He spends three days a week here. And he spends much more than that in terms of his mind share.
because I keep getting his emails even when I am in Europe and US or in Delhi or Madras late night at 2 o'clock and 3 o'clock instructing his people to do this or that. I am thankful to him for actually organizing this entire setup. Thank you so much. Avi, would you like to say something? <laughs> okay. As I said, I am going to talk about Eka Shiksha. I am not going to talk about the three projects. The, for the three projects, I have got exactly one slide. Okay. Lot of thought has gone in, but only one slide. Last five minutes, I am going to talk about my three projects. Okay. But I am going to talk about the initiative. I am going to talk about the country. I am going to talk about questions. He concentrated on the higher education. My fundamental question is, and he did talk about the child and his thirst for education. My statement is to you is, we are killing the child. We have been consistently killing the child in this country. There is no reason why Indians, okay, Indians are anyway in the school education are supposed to be smarter. Okay. But as people, we do not advance that much. So, why is that? Okay. So, we will come to the next most important slide. This says question. Okay. Fundamental difference is in US schools, they develop a child. They do not put knowledge into it. Okay. The fundamental development of the character, development of questioning. My, my son had to write a book on sharks okay, when he studied in third standard in Canada. Do we ever have that here? When my son went to first standard in the US, they were teaching him to recognize alphabets. Already here, we had learned to write alphabets. The basic, basic difference in education is we are actually killing the child. Okay. He asks you something, you explain something, you will ask why, okay, till he gets satisfied. You have to ask yourself one question, you will get one answer. Question the answer three times. Remember if Isaac Newton had not questioned why the apple fell on his head and just ate the apple, he would not have discovered the law of gravity. Okay. If you do not question, there is no progress. And it is time that we started questioning everything. Okay. Not we, I am old. Though a child, but old. Okay. It is you people who have to start questioning everything. Okay. Because as Dr. Fatak said, we are losing the edge. There is no reason for us to lose the edge. Okay. We had the highest, we still have the highest number of software experts. Okay. What is the absor absorption of technology in our country? Zero. Why is that? Okay. And who has to question that? You people have to question it. No politician is going to change. They can talk about change. Okay. It is not going to happen. Because it is not simple, simply politicians, there is a whole set of bureaucrats, they do not want to change. Okay. So, next we come to why you need to question. Example of systems which are leveraging change, banking. Take banking, Indian banks are the same as, as everywhere else, absolutely the same. Same service, same uh, in it. Wherever we think we are the bosses, we should. Uh, uh, Get rid of all of them. I am 100 percent sure. Okay. And the only way you will get rid of them if you start questioning them one by one, it is a, it's a slow process. Systems do not crumble. Okay. It is a slow process. Okay. But unless people like you exert pressure, you should exert pressure why you cannot stand for, stand for elections. Why nobody is questioning that? If you are allowed to vote at 18, why you cannot stand for elections? Do you know you cannot stand for elections? You cannot. You have to be 25. Why? There is so many, you look at every system in India, okay, you have to ask questions because I think it is 1850, police acts have not changed. Okay. They can, if you put something on the Facebook, they will come you and put you in jail because you have done something. It is time we started questioning everything, we started questioning change. I am not going to talk about that, okay. do not worry, it is not a political discourse is just to put you in the mood to ask questions about education. Okay. Okay. This is another thing. Okay. Why I feel very, very 
deeply about okay if you go back to history okay the first major change that happened was the industrial revolution okay who benefited uk germany they fought the world war who will rule the world a handful of nation came and ruled on us for 150 years why because we had swords and they had guns as simple as that so we lost out on the industrial revolution definitely okay we are play, playing catch up what is the what is the current revolution coming up 1960s computers was invented okay 1980 1990 communication okay now your telephone and a computer has gone into one single piece smartphones okay this is the information age this is a turning point in the world's history okay if you still want if india still doesn't wants to become a third world country it's fine okay but if you do not adopt technology you will be remain a third world country other countries are going to adopt i know for sure okay and the first step where you people can contribute to actually adoption of the technology is in education okay but that's where it starts okay people of your age group are hot 20 million 5% of the votes we are a democracy we do what vote bank politics can you change not much get your future generation also tech savvy okay let them use computers get them into the right mindset of asking questions the moment you start using internet you can ask questions okay social media has gone a long way okay into starting a lot of movements all over the world including the nirbhaya rape case in delhi everybody came out in the streets that was the first sign that youth can question and question to a certain extent for their successful no okay in the amir khan's next thing he asked one of the girls was there any change she said no change okay there was a law passed okay rape is still happening okay. but at one girl said a sentence though there is no change i have changed okay so i want you people to change okay if you change you will change others of your generation and it's, it's quite easy it's not difficult i don't want to go out in the streets and start fighting the police that is not the intention okay so countries which adopt technology will rule we are very slow okay though we have the largest number of programmers in the world it's pathetic okay really pathetic okay okay now this question you have to ask yourself should your kids face the same school system okay the answer is obviously no everybody knows that school system at least but in my time i would have said slightly improved okay so nothing too much wrong with it why i got educated in 1960 there was no change the change was slow so it doesn't matter do a certain bit here employ better teachers have better textbooks that's improvement okay now with information age coming in should we think of something different should it be major changes slight improvement major changes or completely different okay i want at least some of you to believe that it should be different okay i'm going to say what is my view of education what it should be and believe me even if we don't do anything about it we will reach there in 40 years okay after everybody else has adopted and we will still be the ruled country of the world okay we want to be a superpower educate your children first properly take the lead okay us has just started in the education system whatever i am saying okay lot of countries have got an edge they have started fiddling around with the education system way earlier but they have still not adopted technology at the school level i think it should be adopted okay right so this is one question i am going to ask him to put up a, a questionnaire on moodle i want you to fill it up because i want to know what you feel feel about the school education and i'll probably put it up on ek shiksha also okay yeah now let's talk about your current education
is your graduation curriculum re relevant? Dr. Fatak talked about what he teaches is the curriculum. There is a freedom for IIT. Do you people have it? It is not. I know it is not relevant. Okay. Why I know what is not relevant? Because TCS takes 3 months to train computer science people. So, obviously, you are, you are, whatever you are learning is not relevant for TCS. I have to teach you software life cycle. Many, many people do not know, know that. At least did not know that earlier. I do not know about now. Okay. So, according to me, graduation curriculum, okay, let it be BA, let it be BCom. The, the Delhi University said that I will increase it from 3 years to 4 years because my people are not getting hired. Right? Recent, one year back, there was this thing. BA, BCom, BSc, the graduation is not relevant for the industry. Okay. Education after all is as Dr. Fatak said enabling you. Okay. Government jobs, okay. government advertisements you look at any government advertisement, it calls for I want a graduate. So, that means the graduation is not relevant. No, If BA, BCom, BSc and all other Bs can do the job which government is saying then that education is relevant. Okay. The next thing is how frequently does it change? Okay. 2 years, 5 years, especially in computer science, a new agile technology comes up for development. If STLC is in talk, is being taught, the waterfall model is being taught, but now people are talking about agile and all kinds of other technologies which I do not know anything about. I have become an old, old man. Okay. Does that get taught in your college? No. Okay. So, any change in the curriculum okay, will get introduced only after 5 years. Okay. That is a fact. Okay. And if you ask question, why? There will be standard answer. Where is your textbook? Okay. You need time to write textbook. Even if the textbook is written, where are my faculty? And the meantime, okay, for this new technology, online MOOC courses are available. Okay. It is being introduced in all other colleges in the without any difficulty. Why is that? Because it is technology. You can look at online. We say no, we want only textbook, then textbook ke liye teacher bhi chahiye, then only the student will learn. Try to see whether that is the correct assumption that the student requires a textbook and a teacher to learn. Okay. If that is true, then you are saying any new concept, 5 years ke bina chalega hi nahi. As Dr. Fatak said, our problem is numbers. You got 400 million children. Okay. Introducing anything to them means how many teachers? Now, I face this in TCS. The standard way of stopping change is this, talk numbers. I wanted to have a crash. This is at two flats right next to my office. So, I said we should start a TCS. Every yes, yes, is okay. The reason why it was dropped is your office, there are two places outside. What will I do with other offices? Ideally, it is okay. It is better for all the women who work. Okay. So, I was losing a lot of you know experienced employees who are not joining work because of this fact. So, I said why not have it? I have got two things here. All it needs is employing good uh, ayahs who will take care of the kids. Lot of companies do it, okay, but we did not do it because every office does not have that space. Okay, and TCS, as usual, did not want to give its office space, which earns a lot of money. Commercial space earns a lot of money. There are metrics: how many dollars per square foot? You don't know it; it's there. Okay, right? All right. So, curriculum is it relevant? Very important question for you. Okay. No, 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 it is not, it is not textbook per se, it is an approved textbook. Okay. Any new technology always has text associated with it. Okay. If you take Java, okay, Oracle has got full Java docs about everything available anyway. It is not that material is never available, all new technology material is available, but that is at your level. I am actually talking about school level, my focus is not your level. Your level you will cope. Okay. Even if the colleges teach you 75 percent of junk, it is okay. Companies will hire you, put another 25 75 percent knowledge in your head. Okay. There is another problem with computer science. Okay. Your faculty is totally bad. So, anybody 
who has, I am not talking about IITs and NITs where PhDs uh, teach, but in all other colleges, anybody who can get a job outside will get a job outside. Why should he teach? Because salary difference between a teacher and a computer programmer is so high. Okay. So the quality of your faculty is also bad, it's because the industry has killed it. Okay. In, they have to develop something for faculty anyway, that they know, that's my personal view. Okay. All right, so this is graduation, this is also known. Okay. This is a fundamental question which I have been asking and to which I have no answer. Okay. This is known, every, every education, everybody has got different capability. Okay. Each student is different. Okay. Then why it should be the same time? Why can't the smart people finish 10th standard in 8 years? Okay. Average people finish in 10 and the non-average people finish in 12. Why there is a stigma, why there is a stigma to the below average person he has failed? Why you want to attach a stigma and stop the person from developing? When I say we are killing the children, we are killing the talented children. We are stopping them, we are restraining them. Okay. Now what happens? The IIT professor who has, who has done a PhD has been employed in IIT at the age of 23. Okay. I am, it's clear he has broken all the rules, no? How you can get a PhD at the age of 23 if you for, go your regular 10th standard, 12th standard graduation and then probably post graduation and PhD, somewhere he has broken. I don't know what he has broken. Okay. Now the question that I have to ask is, I may not become PhD at 23, but did I have a chance to become PhD at 25? I have been deprived because there are certain set of rules. You can say exceptional people break the rules, but what about the not so exceptional but better than average people? Why can't, why can't they be a different rule? This question I have got no answer. Okay. Why can't toppers clear earlier? I have no answer. I have an answer. I will tell you why. Okay. And why can't stragglers clear later? 14 months. Why if I fail 10 standard, I have to wait for 6 months to give the exam again? Okay. It is because of the infrastructure. Okay. I can take exams only at certain intervals of time. Do I want to make a big halla gulla about it. GRE was like that earlier. Now how many they are taking every, every year? GRE was one or two I think earlier in my time. Two papers. Every month you can take. The moment you are ready, take an exam. That is technology. They have implemented a question bank. Is it so difficult to implement a question bank at the school level? Come on. So this is this is this is, this is actually pure murder. There is no, I will call it murder of a child. There is nothing else. Okay. There is no reason. Okay. There is no reason. Even if you say 12 months, I finish in 10 months. Okay. 20 percent time less, no, for your graduation, whatever you want to do in life. No, forget it. I am not saying you should come out early and do something else. This 20 percent time you can spend on something other useful, learn something else. Okay. I am going to give, uh, people who work with me, I am going to give them a book of Salman Khan, not the actor, the Khan Academy Salman Khan, MIT, Salman Khan. He said, when I joined MIT, I realized, this is his words, not mine. I generally don't quote myself because people think this is an idiot, still a child, who, why should I listen to him? But Salman Khan people listen to. Okay. When I joined MIT and you can uh, tell me whether it is right or wrong, okay. I realized that if I spend 15 minutes at home, my learning is the same as I spent one hour with the professor in the class. That I am sure a lot of you will agree with. Correct. So he said, I use my spare time. Remember, that is what I am against. I am not against that. I, I use my spare time okay, to take more courses and finish early. Okay. Written in his book, US system allows it. Do we allow it? Why not? Okay. We are very clear. ATKT milega, we will reduce the number of courses you can take. Okay. If you fail in three subjects, Next time I will not allow you to take that because you will fail again and I will make sure that you get delayed. What about if you, if you are 9 pointer, take a few more courses, finish early. Why that is not there? Okay. And again that is why it is not there at the higher level, why it is not there at the school level. It is the same thing. And the answer is very simple because 
our system cannot assess. Now, why should a child suffer if you cannot assess? Okay. They have introduced the concept of continuous evaluation, but that is also not so correct. Okay. This is another thing. Okay. Different abilities for different subjects. Why should I? It's like trains running parallel, science train and language train. Why everybody has to make one stop, wait for another stop? Why can't I proceed on the science faster? Take languages. I'm not saying drop languages. Some students will clear languages faster. Some students will clear science fast, uh, faster. Let them learn according to their abilities, no? And manage it. Why not? Okay. This is the question I'm saying. You have to question. Okay. Educate as per capability. Okay. Remember, the current education system was developed at the beginning of the industrial age. Okay. The purpose of that system was to create disciplined workers who know time, who can look at instruction and you can obey instruction. That was the purpose of the education system. Okay. Before that, the education system was the village economy. Okay. Like your um, artisanship. Okay. Carpenter ke pasti nadmi aate, he teaches everybody, then he goes. Okay, farming seekne ke liye you go and attach yourself to farmer because there is no knowledge as such. No systematic way of knowledge, no systematic 10 standard, 12 standard. 10 standard, 12 standard came, okay, because the industry required it, the country required it, the society required it, okay. Now what does the society require? Does the society have to still go with this 10th and 12th business which is of no use whatsoever? Why make everybody go through that? So, that is another question you have to ask. Educate as per capability. Okay. Yeah. Educate as per preference. Okay. This is happening in the Western world. Okay. One, this Royal Society of Chemistry had come there. So, I had uh, talked to them about what should be taught in school education. That I will cover when I come to what should be taught. So, that one person said that, talk to his colleague. Now, do not make it public. But he said, I have taken chemistry only up to the age of 30. So, I am sure that in the western world, there is already a lot of choice at the school level. Already. Okay. In the US, I know because I read a book called Disrupting Class by Clayton Christensen, which I am going to quote. Okay. So, he is talking about the US school system allowing a lot of other subjects. People can take Latin, people can take so at the school level, can take Greek, can take different like French, German languages at a school level okay and since this is this is allowed officially uh, electives at a school level they had a difficulty in finding teachers exactly the same thing i am talking about okay so they have started adopting okay certified online courses for the non standard things that you needed to address the issue of teachers the first step to that was actually taking everybody in for example uh, any small town okay Together, Jalandhar together, one teacher for teaching painting. Okay. So, I do not have. Okay. To bring all the students together on Saturday and do that. That was the first approach. Okay. But educate as per preference. This is happening after uh, 10. Okay. I think it is too late. After 10, you can choose whether you want to go for uh, science, arts, or commerce okay. in the junior college. Some can go for diploma engineering. Why can't it happen earlier? Kids are getting smarter. Okay. I have great faith in children. Okay. Absolutely great faith. Okay. Educate as per preference. This is the second thing. Why is there not topic by topic assignment? I think this is the problem with our school system. The problem with our school system is what he said, solve any 6 out of 10, starts from the school level. I okay. will give one simple example, if in physics, okay, I can clear physics without knowing electricity, 35 percent marks are required. Okay. Now, as I go to 10 standard, because earlier 8 standard, 9 standard, that is only about I think 10 percent, 15 percent of electricity, I can clear without knowing that. When I go to 10th, it suddenly becomes huge, 30 percent. That is where I start failing because my base has not been tested. I have been pushed after knowing partial things. Okay. 
so the thing is instead of doing 35% teach a topic assess that topic only no why you want to assess at the end of one one year when he is forgotten okay if you allow kids in the same class to go ahead of each other like this then you can control their education topic by topic not control assist think about it it is feasible now it was not feasible earlier okay that is that is why you have to start questioning now now it is feasible it is being done okay need another thing for which i think the answer is very simple okay why i have to carry books when the same material is available in a simple thing like this okay all i need is 3000 rupees the school has made a desk correct it costs some money put another 3000 rupees my books are gone why do i have to write why can't i type is there any reason except infrastructure everything will become simpler असाइनमेंट घर लेके जाओ असाइनमेंट घर से इधर आओ ये करो चेक करो डॉक्टर फाटक आज था बोटू एल एम एस करेक्ट सो यू वॉज वरीड वेदर एल एम एस इज बींग यूज बाय अदर्स वाय कांट एल एम एस बी यूज एट द स्कूल लेवल वाय चिल्ड्रन आर स्टूपेट दे कांट टाइप ऑल ऑफ देम आर नाउ यूज टू दिस टेक्नोलॉजी ऑल ऑल एंड दे आर नॉट गिव इट टू देम दे विल गेट यूज टू इट ओके डेफिनेटली गेट यूज टू इट all right another question exclusively use technology for school work okay there another reason for it a lot of jobs are no longer clerical write and read they are computers even the government clerical people have started using computers the store front uh, sales sales girl or sales man okay the counter fellow okay he is using this he is use swiping this everybody is, needs to be computer literate why can't they start from the school level okay i'm coming to what is equation shall later okay right again are you satisfied with the class work you had you learn a topic okay, you have to practice it okay teacher gives you homework that is never sufficient so he doesn't have time to check you have to buy a guide okay for even start as practice problems okay so this is what i call as assimilation okay assimilation is after you have learned a topic to imprint it in your memory imprint it in your head through practice through experiment there are various lot of methods that is what ek shiksha is concentrating on actually okay assimilation because that is what is needed there is so much industry who is looting everybody because uh, the current thing is not sufficient okay good and bad teachers why should the child's learning depend on whether the teacher is good or bad okay when a good teacher's content can be easily accessible on the net being tried by cbse now they are collecting material okay but still the role of the teacher to deliver knowledge okay means that the teacher needs to be good now we don't have teachers in the government schools come on they don't they are not there forget good or bad okay when we can use excellent material on the net okay why do you why do we need to rely on good teachers you need teachers i am not saying you don't need teachers like you said do, you do need teachers okay why because you may not understand the material teachers role should be to solve the difficulty rather than teach because teaching can be done by a single good source okay so the role of a teacher i think should change if we start using technology the role of the teacher should change to mentor okay this fellow has this difficulty that fellow has that difficulty he should just go around like isaac dr fatak said isaac what i and he have a problem with is he thinks that is applicable only at the higher level i think it can be applied at the lower level because children are smart much smarter than what we give them credit for okay there is school of thought about uh, bring up children okay it says you should consistently overload children okay just keep dropping things on them 
okay everything may not be absorbed but they will absorb much more than what you think they can absorb okay if you give them more material okay they may not reach 100% but at 70% is more than what you think their capacity is after all we use what 15% of our memory known fact yeah right this is another thing though this cannot happen immediately okay in bombay kids spent about 1.5 hours to go to school in the village is also the same thing because every school village doesn't have a school 1.5 hours out of 12 hours more than 10% of the time wasted because of insistence on a physical school if i can learn at home go to the school like uh, you can probably do it with one day a week two days a week why five days a week what is the necessity the say if one teacher is teaching 50 kids he can take 10 kids per per day no for solving his difficulties like a flipped classroom flipped classroom is a model that has to come okay there is no doubt about in my, in my mind it will come because that is the right model okay that's why i said i'm going to give salman khan book to everybody who works with me okay because he has tried that model in us schools okay and that book tells his story also okay he was almost bankrupt uh, when uh, our great friend ah uh, bill gates okay bill gates said he is the teacher he is he is the favorite teacher of america that's when he started getting money okay yeah but so he has been he has tried it in us schools and what he found was very one very interesting thing okay the school wanted him to give practice material for 5th standard practice material for 6th standard maths he was trying 7th standard okay and see the effect on whether in the summer vacation it include it improves okay what he decided was i will give all access to all you was uh, trying it and thing in 7th or 8th standard i forgot which students a bunch of students as an experiment they will come there and use his uh, technology to learn okay and one very remarkable thing happened there was one girl who was near the bottom of the class okay at the end of the exercise she came almost near the top or at the top only okay and the reason was she started not learning the 8th standard one she started learning the 5th standard ones and that's what he keeps saying that asses as you learn because of fundamental 5th standard concepts were weak she was finding difficulty in the 8th standard concept all that was needed was start teaching her fifth standard again and she came near the end of class that's what i think access as you learn is very important okay right access material as well as practice at home once you do that okay 1.5 hours of time can be stopped though this is way back ahead in the future okay okay this is the same thing guiding mentoring and assessment okay there reason why i say that dr fatak is all for faculty and i keep telling my people i am all for students and the fundamental reason is when i was in iit i did not attend a single lecture luckily i was allowed to okay and remember i did not have internet i went and found a book and but i had a i had a roommate okay who used to tell me all the subjects he used to teach me you know i am enter book plus usko difficulty i go to him he will tell finished our class average marks i didn't want anything more okay so i never i never had a teacher so i am all for students i know i can learn okay can everybody learn yes i think so or at least you to try it out no those people who can learn can learn so it is not as if you throw out the old and take the new it is as if you have to try both find out what is successful and the reason why i am telling you all this that i will come to later the another thing which is very very important which i found in the us schools okay the school curriculum okay why doesn't it include uh, character building thing games why should somebody only learn singing a, a late in life singing painting there so many other things which people are interested in why should they not be part of school curriculum i will tell you the reason why no teachers okay they don't mind where will i get the teachers from 
anyway i think drawing was always there at my time okay but only drawing because i can get drawing teachers there is a school of drawing where i can pass drawing level 1 level 2 and i can become a teacher okay dancing wo extra curricular mein jata hai why it should not be part of curriculum okay right soft skills arts have to be built right from the beginning okay precisely because i think we are teaching too much to children okay they have to learn different skills from than what we are teaching them now okay how many of you have used whatever you learnt in school even in your curriculum very little okay not too much okay. now let's come to what this is ek shiksha is ek one and shiksha is education okay and the fundamental belief is this single quality content for all the world children you take one content and you translate it okay why should there be different content not completely true actually but at least one content should be translated other content you can pick up from the net especially true for india where lot of people go to vernacular schools okay don't go to vernacular schools there lot of content available there is nothing available in marathi for example except the government textbook and all the other funny things that we have okay so this is what we have built this is what i said that i will not go away from it has to be done by your people if you don't do it then don't do it okay and that is one of the projects which i am doing okay i i was glad that there were some top coders here one of the projects that which i am floating right now okay is to build an environment where all the people who are saying competitive coders can actually build something for the children instead of doing only competition coding competitions okay my my uh, view is if any one of you think or locate a game which you think will increase the children children's ability children's fun in learning okay you should be able to post it at one site somebody will develop it and it will become available if we do that we have developed a, a system by which i'll keep on getting more and more content let's not talk about how it will roll out i'm sure it will it is needed okay that i'm convinced if we don't do it somebody else will do it okay it is needed for example i saw brain game that day okay the very cute game okay aisa aisa karta hai when the ball drops where where it will go a b c d e it was supposed to be brain training okay can be done in one week one week of time why can't i post it for everybody to have okay there's just one example which i so i keep seeing so so many things okay i got one thing which i'm asking uh, going to ask one of, one of you to do okay remember the thing that you had in the different kinds of shapes rhombuses square circles and there there is one thing given and i have to what put it together to form that shape okay like a peacock You make a peacock with circles and this and that, so the matching shape, and you move it together and do that. Nice activity. Can I not do it on the net? Yes, I can. Okay. There are lot of things available for children, especially at the primary level, where they learn, they develop their ability, and it's still fun, including counting games. And they are available at various places. All, all we need to do is to rewrite them and put it together in one place. yesterday's youth is me i should now call call myself yesterday's child okay this is what i believe in freedom to choose what to learn okay 50 years not now system will not break okay freedom to learn at one's own pace will happen sooner than you expect okay it's already happening because the government has said we will not assess anybody till ninth standard they have given up up the battle is won the students started failing they have said we will not assess anybody till 9th standard very stupid people are scared in 9th standard now so they will face their first exam okay and choice of how to learn text video experiment this also we have to give okay and choice of when to assess master i am saying the child should know should take its own test i don't want the school to give a test a child to do it i have learned this topic let me see how much i have known this is what i think is the concept of uh, 
education that we have to promote, we have to build. Where, when it is accepted, how it is accepted, let us not go into that as present. Okay. Well, I do not know. Now, I am just saying since you people will not listen to a fool like me, let me give you a old fool. Okay. Everybody has said that. Then what I am saying is said by everybody. Okay. Find the natural bent of the child. All children are not equal. Why the hell do they have to know, know physics when he does not have a bent for it? Let him play around with chemistry if you want. Okay. This is what said by Pluto long time back. Not now. Okay, who is the next fellow? Oh, this is the this fellow has written a book called uh, Disrupting Class. Okay. Yet we insist on herding students with different needs in a classroom and teach them in the same manner at the same speed. Okay. This is what he writes about US school education, not here. He is a Harvard uh, management. He, he has written a lot of books on uh, innovation and uh, this thing. All of you want to become entrepreneurs, try to get hold of his book and read. Eh? The Innovator's DNA and Innovator's Solution. You can read Innovator's Solution. Okay. If you do not want to read university, the book is very expensive, so I cannot circulate it. I am waiting for a cheap version to be available. But it is a very good book. You have to read it. You are going to make any startup better read this Clayton Christensen book first. Because he does talk about what will succeed, what is likely to succeed, what is not likely to succeed. Okay. And he has also written books like What is Next and uh, Innovator's DNA. He has been working on the innovation area for a long, long time. I have read uh, four of his books. And we continue to teach topics without ascertaining if prerequisites are understood. That is the main problem. If you think about why most of the failures at the 10th standard happen in maths. Maths is the most dreaded subject. Okay. Next dreaded subject is physics. Because both maths and physics are based on prerequisites. I have to learn something, then I learn something higher. Okay. I have to run addition and subtraction first, then I go into multiplication, then I go into division, then I go into factorization. Okay. So, if I am weak in division, okay, but I have got 35 percent marks, I go into factorization, factorization assumes a more percentage, I start failing. Maths is ridiculously prerequisite oriented. And the next one is physics, though physics is not that much and these are the two rated subjects. And the problem probably is we are continue to teach topics without ascertaining if prerequisites are understood. Okay. And that is the last sentence. At the end of the, this is his quote, huh? we pat ourselves on the back if the child has learned 35 percent of the subject. This is his take on 35 percent and I agree. So, all of us have dropped certain sections at some time in our life. This Sukhata Mitra, he is the hole in the wall fame. There is a TED talk by Sukhata Mitra, go to the internet and do. Very interesting talk. Okay. TED lecture. Okay. Just do Sukhata Mitra and you will get it. Okay. He won some awards for it also, for his experiment. What he did was, he put um, some high technology content on a PC and kept it in a village okay. and kept going there after three months. And he found that the kids there learned almost as much as a taught class with no supervision, like no marks, no incentive and they kept asking, he, he found out what they learned by the questions that they asked. You read his talk, it is very interesting. And the first experiment the hole in the wall that was done in Delhi, but this was his second experiment and he talked about it. You know what he says? Our current education system is not broken. It is perfectly engineered and working well. I agree. It's just irrelevant. That is his thought, huh? not mine. His words. Okay. And it is irrelevant. Okay, I agree. It works okay, because people are giving credit to your marks. Okay. And this is our Khan Academy, Salman Khan. This is what he believes. He has got a book called One World Schoolhouse, which I will give, no? So, that is where he talks about these concepts, what he thinks as the future school is. Okay. Give students more independent control, allowing them to claim true ownership of their education. 
this is the most important thing that we have to achieve, it will take 50 years, but it does not matter, we have to start. Okay? And I hate private schooling, they take too much money. Okay? Tuitions, coaching, the whole education system is, is down the drain, it is uh, ridiculously bad. And the future of our children is being compromised. Okay? So, what do we want to do? We want one nation, one education, single content in local language, interactive content as such as you learn. What we have done is I have taken all the CBSE books, you can go to the site, just type AK Shiksha, you will get it. Okay? And that is the site name down there. Enjoyable, increase in understanding through experiments, trackable, supplement to cover weakness, each child learns different subjects at a different pace. Okay? And this is the motivator. I am not I want you people to start contributing. I have some of you are done, some are uh, the software quota. Okay, those activities are for this only. Some of those, those will appear. All right? Yeah. Okay, this is what I believe in. Do not look at the feasibility, the rollability, etc., by off right now. Okay? Because hardware does become cheaper. Tablet has right now come down to 2500. Okay. Now the government is going to go for a slightly higher end tablet. Okay. But the lower end tablets will be available. All electronics cost goes down. Okay. I am sure smartphones are available. What, what price now? From 3000. All right. That is small, but it is okay. So, one should not worry about hardware because hardware is going to be cheaper. Okay. The most difficult thing to do is to have content to go on the hardware. Okay? So, that is what we are about. Okay? We have to prepare content, common content for technical subjects, common content in local languages and teacher to become mentor and guide. That is, that is the, that is the only way we can move forward. If we rely on teachers, there are no teachers, no good teachers and they will never will be. Okay? Go from the slate to the smi smiling star, it is a very, very long journey, it is not, it's not going to happen immediately. Okay. Can we rely on government? No, absolutely not. Anybody who relies on government on doing any change is actually dreaming. Okay. You should just go and find out the union budget and divide by the number of people, then you will know how powerless the government is. Okay. The government has, government is needed, I am not saying it is not needed. But why do you think for the last 10 years, India has got a whole spate of what they call as PPP, they were not there earlier, public-private partnership, everybody hears that phrase, no? why? Abhi last 10 years, mein kyu chala? of course, there is corruption is one issue, okay. but why? Government cannot implement projects, it does not have money. Okay. So, if you do this, do a simple cap, annual education budget of the country which is 60,000 crores, People think it is huge. We have 40 million children, you know, 400 million children. I am just saying 33 percent of because no, no known figures of children, more than the whole population of US. Okay. You had 3 percent or 60,000 crores by this, what do you get? Even if I go to government schools, I get 3,000 rupees per, per, per person, per child. If I give him a tablet, he has to go without food. I think the lunch uh, uh, lunch scheme is included in that. What the government can do? Will it will it ever increase the salary of the teacher so that good teachers will join the school? It will not. It will only do some tinkering. Even if I increase the budget from three percent to six percent, it is not going to help. That's okay. All right. There's somebody saying T has come. Okay. This is exactly what I think will work. Okay. This is exactly the way it will be. We need an organization like CRY who says, okay, you know all of you know CRY, right? Okay. Who says, each one of you give me 3000 rupees, I will ensure a child's education. That is the way it should work. That is the way you will get money. Okay. The business industry and of course society, we have a CS uh, that corporate something, okay, where 2 percent of the profits are supposed to be given. Corporate Social Responsibility Act. Yeah. Okay. So, we can use that provided we have something to show. Okay. 
So our attempt is to build this. Don't worry, the rollout will happen in, in spite of the government. We can do lots of models for the rollout. So it will be cheaper also eventually. Okay. But look at a final thing, build content, and then we will see how it goes. Okay. This is what we are going to concentrate on entry level English learning in local languages, though it is not technical. I think we that is a need we have to do that. Okay. Huh. So we come to three projects. And before I come to three projects, the reason why I spent so much time on it, I was very happy that there are some people who want to be entrepreneurs. Okay. There are some people who are coders, one of the project is for that. I want contribution, I want to start a community. I can't do it, I am too old. I am not a bird, I don't tweet. My face is not on any book. Okay. I am a dinosaur as far as your social media is concerned. The way this will work is if some of you who are active on social media take this thing forward and start an Ekashiksha community of programmers, of content builders of which you people can do, it is nothing much. Okay. You should not take too much of your time. I do not know how to do it. I want you people to do it. Okay. For the people who are entrepreneurs, it will be an experiment on how to market in social media. Okay opportunity for you to try out various things. So, I am not going to interfere, but I do not know anything. Okay. How to build a community, which is very skills you will need. Okay. Anyway, so I want at least 10 to 15 people to take this thing forward. Okay. Now, what the three projects that I have, okay. implement a variety of databases, question banks based on assessments. Okay. So, I want say multiple choice, true, false, match the columns, these kind of questions are asked normally. Okay. So, for each topic just enter create a database, so that the student when he clicks on it he gets 5, five out of the question bank. Right. So, that is what I want to build, question bank based assessments okay. for the child to click and get, this is one project. Okay. The second project is similar, implement a presentation mechanism to present the above question back as per student request. Okay. This means I should be able to aggregate also. I can say I want to test myself on mechanics, okay. including friction and then uh, Newton's laws and the, I can choose topics. I will put it together, grab all the questions and present a question to him. Okay. So, that kind of software is needed, presentation mechanism as per the student request. And it can also be as per the school request, which is a timed thing. Student request is not timed. All right. That is part of the same thing. This is the other important thing, second project. Implement a system for supporting verifiable contributions. I am not going to build a question bank. I am not making money like Merit Nation. Okay. 2500 per standard, no? Something like that. Pay them 2500, you get one standard ka thing. Textbook and everything. Okay. And they have got 100, 100 I think people who are doing animations. I do not want that. Why should I? It is not needed. So, we need something who can support these contributions because now once I have got database at the back end, all I need is a front end okay, where I can supply the question. This is the multiple choice question. This is the image. These are the four answers. It will go into database, it will get presented. But what I need a mechanism by which somebody will verify, a subject expert is verify. Who is going to verify? You people only. Okay, I already have about 1000 questions for uh, your engineering entrance exam as a trial. Okay, but they are all text based. I, am, I want to do it image based also. So, that is where I think the first need is there okay, of a question bank, engineering entrance exams. Okay, the greatest loot of the country. That is why I was telling Dr. Fatak once that IIT should charge minimum 2 lakhs per year. Okay. Because that is what students pay to for a chance to get into IIT is too much. Quota fees are nearly the cost is 1.75. No? Anybody from Quota? Quota ka ek bhi nahi hai. Achha, quota has gone down in popularity, it seems. Okay. So that is that is the second project. Okay. The third project I hope you are uh, coding uh, people have joined that. Okay. This is your coding arena. Okay. I want to build a coding arena and the specifications are up to you. So, those who people who are doing some coding competitions, they should get associated with actually 
building the specs okay people who work with me know how i do do it i have put my site on top coder because i have read somewhere that top coder people join to learn programming okay and they are making hell of a lot of money on just encouraging people to write programs and then they sell it to the business we might as well give it to the children no okay so that is the third project and cleaning up and adding to present content is an ongoing activity which i will assign to each and every one of the people who work with me and this is my primary thing i expect from the whole group of you okay i want you people to help me build a community i am not going to do this next year i have told dr patak okay what i have learned from this exercise is okay, building something is like a raising a child okay it doesn't walk at first okay so it has gone to through two or three years okay this is probably the third internship okay i have relied very heavily on internship done by you i got exactly two full time people now earlier only one full time lot of the contribution from you go to the website you'll find about 100 names okay i call them volunteers but they are actually not volunteers okay when they work on my project i get them get them to do this okay but now 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 the child is ready to walk if it doesn't walk let it die okay and it has to walk with your people so i need a community you people better give it to me as dr fatak said i am a child i persevere i'll go after you okay i don't give up and since he mentioned ethic ethicalness okay i mentioned um, that fellow no test your brain okay i don't mind taking their idea and implement i will not never take anybody software take the idea and implement okay as long as their idea is free somebody is making money from the idea i will not take but i will take i don't care i have taken cbse books and put it up no it's free of course they have said that you should uh, promote absorption of books in the community so it's okay yep all right that's it